Hi, welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, my loves. What's up, Cancerian? This is your love reading for the month of March, my loves. We're going to see what messages Spirit has for you and your higher self, okay? So this spread over here, my loves, is for you, or this is more of a feminine energy, so you can place yourself where your energy most resonates for you. And this over here is your other person, my loves, okay? More masculine energy, or if you resonate more with that masculine energy side, we know the right side is feminine energy, and the left side of your brain is your masculine energy. So again, you can embody either one. So it just depends on which one you have more in you. Okay, my loves? So <clears throat> let's go ahead, Cancer, and let's get into your energy, my loves. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Universe. So let's see what messages, my love. We have the Moonology cards here to jump into your space of feelings and emotions, okay, with the moon. So we're going to see what messages Spirit has for you in regards to your emotions, your thoughts, my loves, your feelings here, in regards to your person or the energy that you're around, okay? What messages, Spirit, do we have for my lovely Cancerian? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And if you have a North Node, the readings may resonate for you as well, Cancerian, as a North Node. So let's see, Cancer. Let's see my water babies. All right, Spirit, what message do we have for Cancerian? All right, we have Believe in the Impossible, Blue Moon. So I feel around a Blue Moon Cancer, and you know you guys are really more in tune empathically with being a definitely moon sign as a Cancer and rising and sun. So can the new moons or even the blue moons can affect you more? With in regards to your emotions, Cancerian, so be mindful of that, okay? But definitely doing around the blue moon, I feel you can get messages there if you go Google the blue moon, okay? Believe in the impossible. So I feel like this is something that you're needing to believe in or need more belief in this person, place, or thing, okay? So we also have balanced spirituality and practicality, okay? Full moon in Pisces. That's great because we're actually going through and experiencing the full moon in Pisces, okay? I believe Pisces now, however, is in the sun, right? Um, is going through the sun right now. But however, believe, balance, spirituality. So I feel like, again, Cancer, and this is something that needs balance, this is an energy possibly that where you're feeling off balance, okay, Cancer, and because you're feeling off balance or needing to balance yourself spiritually, emotionally, and mentally, okay, it's not allowing you to see or it's not allowing you to believe in the impossible. Rather, this is, again, within a person, place, or theme, Cancer, okay? All right, thank you, Spirit. Give me one more card for Cancer. Thank you. We have a win-win outcome, Ilse forecast full moon in libra okay full moon in libra could resonate for you there with this being a win-win outcome in the forecast i got one more card or a couple more cards i wanted to come out here as i continue to shuffle so we'll see what those are we have you and your loved ones are safe so this is you my love this is the new moon in cancer and we know the you all rule the fourth house in regards to uh, you know, your foundations, building foundations, building stable foundations. You definitely draw in as far as family, enjoying family, friends, your loved ones, your children, right? You really take that seriously, counselors, okay? So a personal issue reaches revolution. So again, whatever this is that has you off balance or has you not having the faith, I feel, for some of you all, Cancerian, um, a personal issue is going to reach a revolution. It's going to reach reach a place where you can have peace or a peace of mind. Thank you, Spirit. Um, once this overcomes here, and for some of you all, again, it's going to be around the full moon in Cancer. Okay? Um, conclusions are within reach. So, again, some of you all are, are not having the belief or out of belief in regards to this person, place, or thing that's having you off balance. And so, Spirit is for me is implying that 
Some of y'all need to in tune with your higher self. Some of you all need to meditate. Some of you all need to go within, okay, and get the answers here that you are seeking, I feel, Cancer, okay? All right, thank you, Spirit, for those messages. And I cut the deck. We have justice, yes, because whatever this is or have it is played out for you. If it was something, definitely we know when the card justice come out here, some of y'all, it could be a Libra, okay, Cancer, but however... There was injustice in the situation regarding this person, place, or thing, right? This person or this place or this situation or this partnership, however, if it's a job, if a family member um, treated you not in a fair manner, okay, did some things that were unjustice, okay, there will be justice here, Spirit is saying, okay, whether this is going on within the month of March or moving forward, you will get justice once you begin to believe in the impossible, when you uh, don't doubt yourself and when you have the confidence, okay, because there is a new beginning here, okay, we have the world card here, we know when there is an ending, there is a new beginning, right, all right, thank you, Spirit. Let's get some tarot cards out here to see what is this involving around, okay? All right, thank you, Spirit. Thank you, universe. What messages, Spirit, do we have in regards to love for Cancer and their person? What is this tying into, Spirit? Okay, thank you. All right, one more card for over here, Spirit. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. What messages? Oh, wow. Okay. They wanted me to take that. I didn't even know that, that was not shuffled in the deck. Thank you, Spirit. What else? What else for Cancer? One more card for over here, please. Thank you. All right, my loves. Thank you, Spirit. And at the bottom of the deck here for you, we have the Ten of Cups, my loves. Oh, and stick around, my loves. I am going to do a spread again for the person or the energy cancer that you've been around, my loves. And if the reading so far is resonating with you or your higher self, don't forget to like, subscribe, okay? Hit that notification bell. If you are new here, my loves, I would love to have you. I would love for you to go on this journey with me and evolve and love each and every day, okay? You can hit that notification bell and you can check out your moon, your rising, where you're feeling and emotional are as well i do upload readings for all zodiac signs okay so let's move forward here my loves thank you we have the ten of cups again okay water energy cancer here you are pisces or scorpion okay but this definitely informs me that um this is someone that was from your past this is someone that you could have had kids with cancer okay um and again, the fam the family, excuse me, the household could have been off balance, right? The relationship for some of you all could have been off balance, okay? Um, and we have the Seven of Swords here, air energy here again. So again, some of you all, the energies could be embodying air energy as Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, okay? We know the Seven of Swords here is definitely a lot of looking back energy concerns. So for some of you all that maybe look back several times in regards to this person, place, or thing, okay, um, to see if it was for you, I'm hearing, um, or if it was something that you could believe in. And I feel like for some of y'all, these people or individuals with the Seven of Swords here, um, they were very deceiving, right? Or they did things that were um, not being honest. They lied to you about what it is that they were wanting to, you know, manifest with you or communicate with you on any type of whatever level. With the Seven of Swords, we definitely know that that's some sneaky, um, lying energy or just definitely not being honest or being from coming from a genuine place, right, Count Series? And because of that, you know, that's where I feel like where is the fault here with allowing yourselves to be able to believe rather this is a person, place, or thing because there's some type of disbelief here, okay? And so for the balanced spirituality, excuse me, Balanced spirituality, okay? We have the Four of Swords here, meditating, reflecting, right? So I feel like spirit is definitely, in order to receive these messages 
or these answers that you're seeking in regards to this situation or this person that you're around, considering you're needing to rest, okay? For some of y'all, just simply get some sleep, okay? Um, so that way you can be able to balance your life, your health, your well-being, okay? Because you give off a lot of energy, Cancer, and definitely the ones that I'm speaking to that are mothers and fathers, okay, and have a family because you know how to bring in that energy. You know how to make a person feel at home in that Cancer and energy, okay? Um, and so sometimes you all as well, you need that time to go out and resort, pamper yourself, get rest, and take care of your health and well-being, okay? Because you're empathically, you can give a lot off or give a lot of your energies to other, okay? And it may could be draining to you because you're in the energy nouns of dealing with these other type of energies that's looking for the same thing in you, right? And then here we have the hard fun, which is Taurus energy here, okay? And the nine of cups. Again, some of you all are single, okay? Some of you all um, have been in a relationship that you separated from, okay? Some of you all, this could have been a commitment. It could have been a marriage, okay? Or just a committed relationship, um, that you, um, either for some of you all, I'm getting different messages. I'm getting a lot of downloads. Okay. Yes, because we have, in regards to this person, place, or thing, there was a lesson that was learned here, right? There was information, clarity that you got understanding about. Some of y'all got a different perspective in regards to whatever transpired in your life here, okay? After coming out of a retrograde season, I can only imagine cancer. And so some of y'all, a person from your past, or a situation from your past that you thought that you completed or uh, finalized, I'm hearing, um, and you wasn't sure about it, but just be aware that there is a win-win outcome for this, again, that you was not treated fair of and however that relates in your life here, but it definitely was something that was a hopeful fulfillment or wish right we know the nine of cups is all about wishful fulfillment right um being very um emotionally here satisfied you see how she has her this is you all this is your energy water energy cancer you know um being very satisfied here emotionally with the nine of cups here right being very um emotionally fulfilled thank you with the nine of cups here and just needing that one cup which is huh, where they want me to put it at, okay right here the ten of cups okay so again for some of you all that separated from this person or has been separated from this person from your past okay again could have been the ex someone that you divorced yourself from or separated yourself from okay um and you're in an energy now this person could have came back okay or they could have came back in town however and you wasn't aware of it okay but whatever this is we know it's a personal issue right this is a person a loved one from your past that came back to wanting to reconcile give this apology right um and you were concerned about it because you were concerned about your household and your loved ones okay so let's see let's get see more get some more clarification here excuse me in regards to this situation and then again stick around and we're going to pull a spread on the energy or your person that you are around counseling okay so let's see here let's finish up your spread Thank you, Spirit. What are these messages relating to? Clarify the Seven of Swords for Count Siren, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Why is the Seven of Swords here for Count Siren? Thank you. The Strength card. Spirit, let me get it out. Okay, thank you, Spirit. Some of you all, it could be a Leo, okay? This is fire energy, okay? But definitely just needing the strength to come over these individuals, the people, family members, okay? I feel like this is a lot of more 
more than one energy. Thank you. Okay. Um, because we have the seven of swords here. So this could be people that you've worked with, these could be people that's in your family and your household that's done things um, you know, that you found out the truth about, okay, with the seven of swords here. Um, so be mindful of that. And you've had to have the courage and you've had to have the strength to still believe in whatever it is that you have your own individual belief towards. Because right now, I feel like in the past, Karen Siren, you kind of felt like you didn't have any more hope or desire towards it. It could have been, again, this person, um, this person, your ex from your past or these individuals, right? But it's always something there, I feel like, that still gives us that hope or gives that us that ability to try to find peace. And that's all in that counselor and energy, trying to make peace, right? So I feel like when you all go into this um, Four of Swords, right? We know the Four of Swords is all about pulling back your energy, going back, taking a rest, reflecting, right? Some of you all in the spring break energy where you're able to be off work or be able to take a vacation so you can reflect on things and what's going on around you. I feel like some of you all need this time. Spirit is saying you need this time to rest. I feel like I really feel that energy. Some of y'all really need to just relax. Even if you can't go out due to the world situation and things going on here. Wow, and it fell down right here. Yes, the four of swords. You need to take a rest. Pull back your energy. Detach yourself from these um, energies that's being very deceiving that are not being honest, lying, disrespecting you, right? Not coming from a genuine place, okay? Pull your energies back, okay? Because they're draining you, I feel like. Whether this is a job, a person, or a thing, it's draining you, Spirit is saying, I feel, okay? And you're definitely needing the strength to overcome, okay? And if you are processing this right now, um, this is the type of energy that you're needing to have, okay? Not only that... You need to fall back and, you know, just some of y'all could be overthinking, okay? So just be very mindful of the energies that you're around and recognize the energies that you're around. Because if it's if it's people that are causing you to be draining, you definitely want to pull back your energies, okay? Don't involve yourself in something or make plans and you know you don't have the energy to go and do so, okay, Counselor? I'm just keeping it real. I'm going by what I see and feel here. Thank you, Spirit. Clarify the Four of Swords, the Six of Pentacles. Yes, needing balance. This could be an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, okay? But as Spirit said, there needs to be balance, okay? You need to have balance within your health, your wealth, mentally, physically, and emotions. It all needs to be balanced. And that's fine because we all can get off balance sometimes when you're giving your energy more somewhere rather than through and for yourself, that can happen, right, Cancer? So Spirit is wanting you to find balance, right? All right, give me more Spirit in regards to the Four of Swords for Cancer. Why is the Four of Swords here? What other messages? Wow, Five of Swords, again, more air energy. Again, Cancer, and some of you all, this person could be embodying the air energy of Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, okay? But this is definitely a lot of um, energies that's coming from a lower vibration, okay? Because I'm going to say that because you have both these cards here is definitely lower vibration energies, intentions, thoughts, and what they're trying to manifest towards you. And Spirit is definitely wanting you to detach. We know the Five of Swords as well is all about conflicts, arguments, fighting, trying to still fight when these other two individuals here have walked away right? They've given up the battle and they just realize that they'll go on and on and on trying to fight and trying to make the same situation, trying to make the same relationship, trying to make the same outcome and getting the same results. So they decided to walk off. And I feel like for some of y'all, this person, this individual still keeps continuing to try to come back. That's how that cycle in their will go, right? They'll continue to come back around during retrograde, but it'd be up to you to make the decision here. I feel like, okay, because if not, it will cause external conflicts right okay thank you spirit and definitely spirit is aware of this spirit sees all okay the universe sees all and they see how this for some y'all has been a burden right and 
that's why some of you all, which is kudos to you, are pulling back your energy from this individual. And you're looking good doing that here for some of you all in the near future. So there's levels to this shit. Some of you all are just pulling yourselves and detaching yourself from these energies, Cancer. Some of you all are now in the energy of recognizing you need balance. There has to be a give and even take here. And the other you all have overcome these obstacles and are looking good, honey ending up the March, ending up, excuse me, the month of March, because you've learned lessons, right? You've learned and appreciated, and now you know which path you can go. Now you know that through this commitment, through this marriage, right, through this relationship, you've learned and understood and learned valuable lessons here, right? All right, thank you, Spirit. Clarify the Nine of Cups and the horror font clarify the nine of, ooh, excuse me the nine of cups and horror font why is the nine of cups here what is this situation whoa the tower scorpio energy some y'all could be a scorpion okay the tower moment we know is all about sudden change right we know that something that has caused a eruption or something that caused a foundation to come down, okay? Something that caused, we know the uh, tower is all about information that has been exposed as well. So there could be some information in regards to this marriage, in regards to this commitment, this relationship, this person, place, or thing that has been exposed. There was some clarity and it has shooken up energies around you, which makes sense of why you have or uh, the energies of the five of swords and the seven of swords is here because some information had got exposed. Okay. We know the tower is a major arcana card. So the universe had to come and step in because energies were not, um, you know, they were pulling back from the energies, right? And they wasn't going within. Okay. So spirit had to come in. Universe had to shake it up here. Okay. Awaken some energies here, right? Bring some energies to realization. And that's where I feel like where the lessons I feel like come into play for you, Cancer, and give you that reality check. Give you that point of, okay, this is a breaking point. This is not how I want my household. This is not how I want my life to be. This is not how I want my Ten of Cups, my uh, forever after life energies of what I have left to be, right? You want the Ten of Cups, the happiness, the peace, family, the peace of mind, right? Wow. Hmm. Okay. Is there anything else, Spirit, before I move into Cancer's person energy? Why is a tower card here? Can you tell me why is a tower card here for Cancer? What caused this tower moment? The four of pentacles holding back towards Capricorn Virgo energy again. So, oh, oh, okay, thank you, Spirit. So they're telling me because you decided to hold back, because you actually went through the healing, since you actually did the inner work, Cancer, or you, again, detached yourself from these energies once you were aware that the energies wasn't coming from a genuine place here with the Seven of Swords and the conflicts and the arguments and some y'all could have got into a fight and argument and caused this tower moment as well here but once that happened once that occurred you held back not only did you held back your emotions okay your thoughts with the seven of swords here um you have the four of pentacles you're holding back your finances you're holding back your assets from this person again in regards to again this relationship this marriage you two once you separate it in regards to a divorce, you hold back your finances. Just, I'm talking reality here, okay? This is real shit that happened and that's the order that it go in. And once this tower moment hit, you held back. And because you held back, this could be an awakening and a tower moment, I feel, for this person as well. And it's why they're coming to you arguing with the conflicts and the um, Seven of Swords, okay? Wow, thank you, Spirit, for those messages for counseling. So again, my loves, if that resonated with your energy at the moment, don't forget to like, subscribe, okay? Share the video if you know this is resonating for someone or someone needs to hear this message, okay? So let's now jump into your person's energy, my loves, and then we'll finish up your reading. We're going to check their headspace, their emotions, and how they feel in regards to you, 
in this situation, okay? So let's see, Spirit. Thank you again for those messages, universe. Okay, what messages, Spirit? Give me one second, my loves. I'm going to take a sip of my lemon water. I'm jumping into a whole nother energy. I do believe in my health is my wealth. I have to preserve my energy as well. So if I do stop from time to time to take deep breaths, okay, it's because I love myself as well. I have to take care of my health as well. This takes a lot of energy, my loves, but it's my passion is what I love to do. So excuse me one moment. Thank you, Spirit. All right. What messages in regards to Cancerian's person? How do they feel towards Cancerian? How do they feel in regards to the situation here and what transpires, Spirit? What messages for Cancerian person that we can be enlightened on, Spirit? What are their head thoughts in regards to Cancerian? How do they feel? Thank you, Spirit. We have the number eight, success and growth. So they do feel like this relationship can grow or could be very successful. Thank you, Spirit. We have the number six, third eye chakra. Yes, needing to open up their third eye chakra, I feel. We have a lot of purple here as well. So definitely this person um, has gotten some acknowledgement, I'm hearing. They've been enlightened, okay? They're definitely following their um, spirit their higher self i feel like they're if they're not they're needing to tune in okay oh okay okay they're needing to tune in spirit is saying with the third eye chakra here so i feel like this person needs to open up their third eye they need to see what's in front of them i feel like they're not seeing what's in front of them well deserved rewards i like that number nine okay a lot of bold energy there i like that about your person okay well, let's see here, Cancerian. What are the messages, Spirit, we can give here with the tarot in regards to Cancerian and their person? What messages? How does Cancerian person feel towards them, Spirit, in regards to the situation? How does Cancerian person feel? Sorry, my loves, I have the cards upside down. We have the Page of Cups here. They definitely have some feelings towards you, Cancer, and okay? They definitely want to send you a message in regards to how they feel, okay, with the Page of Cups, and they could be young or younger than you. All right, we have the Ten of Cups here. Yes, more water energy. So they really feel that you are definitely someone that they can settle down with, right they definitely have feelings towards you hell they love you here with the ten of cups okay they definitely can see themselves selling down with you a lot they may have um i'm being drawn to the fishes here they may have fishes or like fishes okay i don't know that kind of just came out of nowhere um you two may have animals or this person like animals okay so let's see spirit thank you let's get a card here for well-deserved rewards why is well deserve reward here the king of swords air energy again aquarius gemini or libra all right excuse me at the bottom of the deck we have the king of pentacles could be an earth sign as well for some of you all taurus capricorn or virgo okay but this person someone could be in the energy of a father figure okay or a husband okay some of y'all could have kids with this person, okay? Um, so let's see. Why do we have the page of cups here? So I feel like this person may send you a message, okay? Um, hmm. So in your spread, my loves, you had the nine of cups, okay? So again, some of you all... Um, if you're not single, you will be single, okay? For some of you all, or most of you all could be single, right? Or if this is resonating for you, if you're single, this could be resonating for you, okay? Because they're showing me here in the car is why I had to stop in the middle of channeling. 
that there are 10 cups here. So this person, for some of you all, is going to be your 10th cup. Or I'm getting energy here that's more new. So I like it when that rolls off that way because most of the times the reading the person comes back or the energies from your past is the most energies that I read when I come to the second spread or the masculine or the spread or your person on this side. So I feel like this is more new energies. This could be someone that you just met or is currently dating or been dating for a while, okay? But we'll see how that goes because anytime it can go left, okay? So be mindful of that. But the energies that I'm feeling intuitively, this is someone that you've been dating or talking to for a while or you didn't get the chance to date in the past and now you're having an opportunity to date this person. This person is someone that you've just been able to talk to and go over ways and things that you experienced in your past. So they're being able to help you heal and go through this process because this person, I feel like that's wanting to communicate here with you with the page of cups. It was wanting to, you know, assist you in this process to become successful and have growth over time because you have the 10 of cups here. This is meaning long lasting or long term relationship generations to come. So this person may come from a place that they use their third eye a lot okay they're very intuitive here right and what they wish for what they desire they're standing on their ground as i said i like their energy they're very bold okay and this makes sense because you have the king of swords energy down here this is air energy this is a person that speaks their truth they're not afraid to speak their truth they look at it as a very logical place or from a logical perspective okay they're not going to sugarcoat shit okay they're going to go off uh intellectually their mind first it's a person that kind of go over and speaks however um through their mind and their thoughts first editing that way before they hit it with their emotions so they are very straightforward and definitely mean business what they do what they do with the king of swords energy that's that king of swords energy in regards to air energy okay and again some of y'all that could be aquarius gemini or libra okay so let's see let's clarify the page of cups and the success and growth for cancer in person why is the success uh ooh, success and growth and page of cups here for cancer in person the eight of pentacles earth energy here again yes they want to work with the, ugh, they want to work with you. Excuse me, I'm getting a lot of channeling spirit. Give it to me. Break it down one at a time. So again, this person wants to collaborate with you, of course. They want to work on this relationship. They want to work on building this foundation with you. This person, again, can be single as well, okay? Because they know that you're single over here with the Nine of Cups. They see you as their wish for fulfillment. They want to offer you that last cups here that's in the middle here, which is the nine of cups. They want to sit here by the fire with you, Cancer. They love that energy of your Cancer and energy that you bring where you make them feel like they're at home. You're their home place or give them that peace of mind, I feel, for some of you all, okay? And they're following their intuition here with the number six, okay? I like it. Yes, Cancerian. We'll fuck it up. What else do we have, Spirit? Whoa. The Tower. Dun, 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 dun. So, my loves, not only did the Tower come out in their spread here, your person, Cancer, it came out in your spread as well. So, this is definitely something, if it hadn't happened already, here in the month of March, it possibly could happen towards the end of the month here or definitely here. We know the tower is a sudden change. The tower is something that happens immediately. OK, something that happens unexpectedly, some information that is exposed out of the blue. OK, so um, if it's this person that comes to you up out of the blue and tell you how they feel and how they want to move forward, they could propose to you up out of the blue, Cancer, and that could be the sudden change or the surprise. Whatever it is, we know the tower is something that you are not aware of, you are not looking forward to happen, okay? And it just up and happen from up out of the universe, right? So I feel like for some of you all, it could be in regards to, hey, I want you to be my 
person. I want you to be the person I can spend the rest of my life with. And this person exposing that could be exposing it somewhere in front of everyone on social media or just exposing it to you in front of family again because it could be a proposal. I don't know your whole life, Cancerian, but I do feel positive energy towards it. Okay, and for some of you all, I feel like with your spread and your energy, we just recently did cancer in, with you having a lot of conflicts or a lot of energies that now is the reason why you've been able to be aware of these other energies. Because when this person or when this person place or thing, opportunity, energy that I'm pulling here for you, cancer in, comes your way, it's going to allow you to grow, right? This person is going to allow you to see things from a different perspective, okay? And I feel like that's why you cancer are going through a lot of shit, now and that's why your household may be getting really shooken up that's why universe is coming not only through this person's life and energies there's a terror moment going on for the both of you all uh-oh damn gina i might gotta name my reading for you that cam searing is <laughs> look the tower done hit for the both of you okay oh my goodness but in a good way in a good way okay Thank you, Spirit. We have the, um, wow, we have the Queen of Cups, okay? They don't want me to put that there. Okay, well, which makes sense because why wouldn't you have the Ten of Cups here with the Queen of Cups? This person is definitely in love with you, Counselor, okay? They definitely see you as a place of being loyal to them um, in a very loving energy. This is your energy as well, your water energy, Counselor, and they see you as a good mother figure or it could be a good mother to their kids or just in a family um, environment, right? They really have emotions for you, okay? Because I said that because we have the page of cups here, okay? They want to express their feelings towards you, right? They want to, again, with this tower moment, they see you as the all be all, right? Ooh, I like it. And for some of you all, this card wanted to fall over sideways. We know if it comes over or falls out sideways, it could be a challenge. So I feel like for some of you all, a challenge could be here or a delay could be here. Or it could have been a delay, thank you, Spirit, because this person was not opening their third eye chakra or seeing what was in front of them. And that was a challenge for them at a time or could have took them so long to recognize that, that you are their 10th cup here, okay? And that they do love you right with the queen of cups here with you here my loves in their energy we're on their spread okay i like it i like it cancer and fuck it up i can I, look i like the person he cool she cool okay moving forward clarify the will excuse me the well deserved reward and the knight of swords your spirit why is the cards energy here for cancer in person towards them why is the king of swords here the spirit Three of Cups, more of your energy, my loves. Yes, they definitely see you as having a good time. I feel like some of y'all may be celebrating with this person. Again, you tell me, okay? Email and tell me, is there a wedding coming about? Is there a celebration for you two uniting together? I don't know, okay? I feel a lot of joyful energy here, right? And even with your spirit guides here, because the number six is out here. So this person, they're very intuitive with their spirit and their higher self, okay? Definitely with the King of Swords coming out here. They know what they know is why they speak their truth and they don't hold back. And I feel like a lot of you cancer and hell, they probably turn you on about this person. <laughs> Your secret is safe with me, cancer, and okay? But however, the Three of Cups here, yes, because there's definitely going to be some celebration for whatever this seals, okay? Some of you two may be able to go out and have a good time together once you move forward with each other, okay? Yes, I like it. Any other messages, Spirit, here? Because what's going to be well-deserved and rewarding, I feel, is the connection you two have together, the growth and the success that you two will be able to have together. Rather, if this person went through their spiritual awakening, went through their lessons to learn, and vice versa, you're coming. I feel like you both are going through the same process of healing and learning lessons, and now you can both be able to use what you 
felt as pain, what you felt was love, what you felt was hurt, and you two can nourish each other and help each other move forward and be successful and have growth together. Okay, thank you, Spirit. Look, if you don't ask, you don't get the information, okay? So I always like to ask before I end the reading. So thank you, Spirit, for those messages. All right, my love. So again, if the reading resonated with your spirit and your higher self, again, if you're new here, welcome, my loves. Hit the notification bell and we will definitely chit chat again, Cancerians. Any information or details you would like to know about scheduling a personal reading, it was down below in the description box, my loves. And again, thank you so much for your love and support. Okay, it appreciates, it goes a long way. Thank you for your donations, Cancerian. And I'll talk to you again. Remember, your health is your wealth. Bye-bye.